I believe that we have a responsibility as stewards of our planet Earth to protect our oceans, our coral reefs, our marine species. And we've learned firsthand in Florida the impacts of ocean acidification. And why is it happening? It's all linked to global warming. The more CO2 that we put in the air, and the more that that uh, causes uh, the acidification in the ocean. And we've seen the damage that's been done to the coral reefs. And uh, we're quite concerned about the long-term impacts on the marine environment. So I've worked with our colleagues to pass the Federal Ocean Acidification Research and Monitoring Act, which has now been signed into law by the President. And it established an interagency committee to develop research and monitoring and authorize funding to carry out the activities. And you may be aware that NASA has a number of space projects that contribute to better understanding of this phenomenon, including research focusing on improving our understanding of how ocean ecosystems respond to climate change. Now in St. Petersburg, scientists from the U.S. Geological Study are taking measurements of the chemical properties of seawater. And that study began last summer. The data they collect will be used to help build a baseline to measure the impact of ocean acidification. Just as the world must work together to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, so we're going to have to work hand in hand to figure out what's going on in the ocean. And I look forward to continuing to work with you. And I want to thank you again for your commitment to this issue.